Dang, haven't even started and I already need some water. It's moving day one. I officially moved tomorrow and I love watching moving vlogs. So I figured I'd document it um, for whoever is also interested in watching moving vlogs. Um, I apologize if the audio is weird. I'm trying this new microphone out. I don't, I don't even know, but um, it's day one. We just picked up the U-Haul. It's massive. <laughs> I wanted a U-Haul with a ramp, and the only one that has a ramp is the 15-foot one. It's way too big. Like I have a lot of stuff, but uh, that's a lot. That that's a lot of space. Um, but. I have been packing for basically the last month, three weeks, so I'm all packed. I don't have like a packing montage to show because I already have everything in boxes, which I will show you, um, but I'm, I'm excited. I got the U-Haul. It's time to load it up. Today is my load into the U-Haul day because tomorrow at 7 a.m. we are on our way driving to my new home, which is so exciting, but uh, very scary, very nerve-wracking. My stomach has been in knots for the past couple of days. I Every time I get on my bike, I've been feeling very just like uneasy, so I told myself I'm not going to force a workout I'm not gonna force a massive spin sesh because it's just I've been feeling very uneasy which is nerves I know it's nerves so anyway let me show you the current state of my mess which that's empty that's empty empty that one's empty I have boxes everywhere bookshelf is empty all my hangers are in here these boxes are recycled or i might use one of them to put all this stuff in a couple boxes here my mirror i should have two a die over here i should have two mirrors um my lamp this has a bunch of random stuff but it's all empty the bottom is empty I need to take that off the wall. I'm pretty sure there's nothing under my bed, but I'm not going there. My bike will go into there. My closet. I don't know which jacket I want to wear for dinner tonight, so I haven't hung them up. And I don't know which outfit I want to wear for dinner tonight, so I left all my dresses. But everything else is in trash bags. That's my ottoman with blankets in it and just i don't know but everything is pretty much empty um i was packing clothes in there i've had these boxes here basically packed with clothes and a random friend's dvd um that's packed this is my i don't know what it'll be probably coffee table i've had these boxes packed ever since like three weeks this has all my weights in it so I can roll it I have my TV box that I will put my TV in I have hijacked my living room so those are all there that's a bin of shoes back there my vacuum cleaner you can see the U-Haul is outside um, this is my desk which I will clear out that's my TV stand, <laughs> side tables, a bin of stuff, empty bin of stuff, clothing rack, more boxes. So I literally, and I'm taking that couch, but I've literally hijacked my entire house. 
And this is very backlit, but please enjoy this time lapse of me getting shit together. Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile cause in my heart it's not worthwhile. It's a bloody battlefield where sun go down on the seal. In the end it's all the same. All you can do is play the game. I was a bitch to get in by myself. Oh my god. So the sun is super bright, so no matter what I do, it's like very washed out. But I'm sitting down because I'm exhausted. I have blisters. You can't see it. It's super washed out, but I'm developing blisters on my hands that I don't know if I'm like. Um, but as you can see behind me, I've just been loading up the truck, slow and steady wins the race or whatever. Um, my hair is just on its last leg. I am, I wanna say 90% done. I have to, my clothes I'm gonna put in my car. Hmm, 
Maybe I'll toss him in there. I don't I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm doing. But I was loading the truck and I realized I'm so freaking hungry. Like I haven't eaten anything all day. We picked up the truck at 11. <laughs> we picked up the truck at 7. It is noon right now. It is 11.58 and I think since 8 o'clock I've been I am so washed out I, this is much better the sun is not too much in my face so I think since 8 o'clock I've been packing things slowly but surely maybe 8.30 slowly but surely and I'm very tired. I look like a hot mess because I am a hot mess right now. You should have seen when I started. I was like dripping sweat. Just like. Um, but I have everything. I want to say 90% packed. My clothes are in trash bags. So I will probably just toss them on top of things. In nooks and crannies and stuff like that. Some stuff like my vacuum cleaner. And some other stuff that will go in my car. Because. I don't know, I'm just going to put it in my car. Um, but it's funny because this is the 15 foot truck. I would normally get the 10 foot truck, which if the 10 foot truck would probably be okay too. But I was like, oh, this is too big. And then slowly but surely, everything's just filling it up. <laughs> and at one point I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to have enough space. But I do, obviously. Um, and oh, getting the couch oh my god i am so glad that i will have help unloading this thing which unloading should be way easier unloading it doesn't matter how you fit things in um i had to had to start with the bigger things so i had to start with the couch the dresser the bookcases stuff like that i had to start with that because then i could put the boxes on top but unloading you can just unload whatever so doing that by myself was a <sniffs> my nose is running because i'm so tired and i'm so hungry i need to find food it's noon so i'm gonna get some food and take maybe an hour break maybe 30 minutes actually um and just like eat some food relax and then i will put the rest of my stuff in my car and oh i need to put my computer stuff there's just I'm very tired. I'm gonna I'm gonna go eat some food. First things first. I don't care about anything else right now. I just I need to fuel my body and then we can continue on with packing. So I came and I plopped myself on the couch because I literally am far too tired <laughs> to do anything. And Tara Miss Tara Michelle posted her new video, her home renovation. Mitch is just like dope. I'm like obsessed with this girl's videos. I watch far too many of her videos. I'm drinking my water out of this massive Voss bottle because I love the glass and I don't want to get rid of it. And yeah, I'm just watching Miss Tara's videos. All right back to watching and then I can eventually continue do you see that I literally have taken up this entire house I can't wait to like have everything packed away so I can clean but like that's my stuff that whole situation is my stuff I still have boxes up there <laughs> that's my tripod I have still have boxes up there I still have you can see a box in the corner over there and I still my room that's mine that's mine. This is my mom's. I'm not taking that. My room, I mean, it doesn't look as bad. I'm not gonna lie. But it's a mess. I need to vacuum, but I have stuff on the floor. Need to take my lamp. Still need to take that down. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but do you guys see these, like, lines that show up on the walls? And it's kind of lined up to where my bed was? I don't know. I don't know. Um... 
my pillows are on the floor but they're gonna go in my car my personal car not the u-haul basically all this stuff here is gonna get tossed in my car um need to decide if i want these shoes or these shoes for dinner tonight i need to go either dressy or casual um these have my hangers and a fan those are just like um wow wow never mind never mind what they are um my clothes are still here i'm still debating whether i want to toss them into my um into the u-haul or into my car either way they're coming with me but they're still hanging literally going back to plopping myself right here on the couch i'm just gonna continue on home renovation week 11 here we go all right <laughs> bye okay so it's now 208 and i gave myself basically two hours to just not move not be packing not be uh, loading up the truck and i think that was a good enough time for me to rest because i don't feel as tired i like you can't tell maybe like i feel like it's gonna get worse before it gets better but you can't you probably can't tell this is light yellow this light is yellow but like i've got blisters on my arms and like in my knuckles from like holding the dolly like so and i apparently grip too tight all the time because about an hour or two into packing it up i was like i think i showed you like my hands were red and it hurts like it hurts like i don't feel exhausted anymore i don't feel tired anymore but like my arm hurts my fingers hurt and my toes hurt for some weird reason i don't understand it but my toes hurt anyway um i don't know if i'm gonna make this a separate thing because i feel like the 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 first vlog is too long um i might just combine it and have one moving vlog like one packing the truck packing my car one un packing the truck unpacking my I don't know what I'm trying to say but I'll probably combine it so that I can have one that's today and one that's tomorrow um, but I can imagine this is not very entertaining for a bunch of people to just watch some random ass black girl on the internet pack up a u-haul but hey if you're watching <laughs> thanks this is mainly for my memories so i can be like look at that time when i moved all the way to another state <laughs> by myself with my family but by myself um anyway the point of this clip is that i'm gonna i've taken a two hour break i had my snack i've drank lots of water so i'm gonna return so that i can vacuum and take a shower and just be clean and get ready for dinner so first i'm gonna get water because i drank i filled this up and i drank it all so
so I just finished for the most part putting things into my car there's two like major things I haven't done yet um, otherwise everything else right here is going into my car at some point probably tomorrow morning my room is so empty like also I am profusely sweating like excuse me anyway it feels like such a bittersweet moment because I've pretty much grown up in this room. I mean, we moved from an apartment and also from another country, but this was the first place that I like painted the walls. I mean, I painted three white walls and one gray wall. That gray wall. I hung up art. I never used to, I never hang up anything. I I felt so like at home. My battery's flashing. But I, I felt so at home here and it's weird to like pick it up and leave. I don't know. I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now. Mainly tiredness because like I have blisters on my arms but this is so exciting. Um, the rest of this stuff is pretty boring. I am pretty sure you have seen enough time lapses of everything of me putting stuff into. So my battery died, which is fine because I was probably rambling on about something unimportant anyway. But I just took a second to kind of vacuum in here, kind of not really. Um, but I wanted to make sure I ended this vlog because apparently that's what good YouTubers do. <laughs> I need to hold this in a way. Okay. But no, I have vacuumed. Um, pretty much everything is packed. The rest of the stuff will just go in my car tomorrow morning because it's my socks and underwear and some cleaning supplies. And uh, tomorrow will be day two actual moving day so i'm gonna pick up my keys film a empty apartment tour for the one person who wants to see said apartment tour and uh yeah so i'm super excited i'm super excited like nervous tired exhausted all these things but very very excited and i can't wait to document this journey for my own eyes to see in, in the years to come um and just I'm 25 and I'm moving to another state. What? <laughs> um, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. I don't. I don't know, guys. I'm not a real YouTuber, so thank you for watching. Um, thank you for being on this journey with me, and I will see you in the next moving vlog, which will probably be released on the same day this one is, depending on how fast I edit it. But. Goodbye. You'll always be my night sky. Give the night sky hard and behind dark gray clouds. I can't figure you out.